probably 1973, 1974. I'm at the Lamberville Flea Market setting up outside my Ford Conaline van, and this name, Dr. Edelberg, comes up, and I don't have a clue who this man is. But the Princeton show had happened a year or two before. Princeton was 10 miles from where I live, but it may as well have been another universe. And uh, I had no idea that I would ever meet this man, much less be asked to sell his collection at some point. But uh, 43, 45 years down the road, we have been honored, supremely graced, by being given by Dr. Edelberg his collection of American ceramics to sell, which is going to be in our January auction. So there are some extraordinary pieces, things that have not been on the market for at least that amount of time. There are pieces of Robineau that descended through the Lewis estate. Lewis, of course, sponsored Robineau at University City. This is the best grouping of Robineau we've ever had for auction. There's just none of it out there. Supposedly she made 600 pieces according to her family records. And to get anything of any substance is a near impossible task. And there's a beautiful assortment of them in this sale, as well as University City pieces from the same Lewis estate. Furthermore, the George Orr, they're the best piece of George Orr we've ever had. We sell 100 pieces of George Orr a year. This grouping includes a magnificent two-handled vase. Really, it's a, a, a treasure, one of the great two-handled pieces that Orr ever made. A magnificent grooby, and a lot of other surprises. So check out the sale, check out the catalog, it'll be online. And we're here to answer any questions you might have. But uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us, and I suggest perhaps for yourselves as well, if you're interested in collecting American ceramics, the collection of Dr. Edelberg, uh, it's an honor and a privilege and a beautiful assortment of work coming up at our sale in January.